I'm Anise Parker, mayor of the city of Houston, and I committed early on to the Compact of Mayors. Because as the leader of one of the oil and gas capitals of the world, if not the oil and gas capital of the world, I thought it was important to make a statement of my commitment and uh, all of the work that the city of Houston has already done to meet climate action goals. I've been mayor of Houston for six years. We have already experienced the worst drought in our recorded history. At the same time, we have had some devastating floods, and I'm in the hurricane belt for the Gulf Coast, and we are preparing every year for storms of increasing intensity and impact. Uh, I know the direct impact on my city of climate change. And of course, I'm also only about two feet above sea level, so rising seas will eventually directly impact Houston as well. You can't manage what you don't measure. And so the commitment to putting measurable goals in place, meeting those goals, talking about the efforts to meet those goals, and then holding your, yourself and your city accountable are very important. Our benchmark year was 2007. We've already reduced greenhouse gas emissions in the city of Houston by 38%. Uh, we're gonna hit 42% next year, and uh, we're well on our way to the significant reductions that we need of all cities in order to bring ourselves into climate balance. Even when our national leadership fails to act, mayors have executive authority, we have administrative authority, we can make changes at the local level that impact millions of people. Uh, in my case, 2.2 million constituents and 6.2 million people in the region who are directly affected by the decisions that I make as mayor and our commitments to making climate change. Uh, I have good ideas, other people have good ideas. Uh, we, we share freely with each other as cities and uh, by constantly touching base with each other and communicating uh, cutting edge Research, new technology or techniques are just a great new idea that can quickly spread around the globe. As the leader of the oil and gas capital of the world, I'm very proud that the city of Houston is the largest municipal purchaser of renewable energy in America. And uh, we're, we're close to achieving 50% uh, of our energy use from renewables to, to fuel the city. But I'm also proud that our business community in Houston, that the citizens of Houston are beginning to embrace the change too. I frankly don't talk a lot about, we have to do this to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. I talk about simple changes that we can do that are good for greenhouse gas emission reduction, but also good for the bottom line. It doesn't necessarily have to cost more to do the right thing. We're a hot, humid climate, and uh, we are profligate users of air conditioning. Uh, one of the things we've done as a city is to take our millions of square feet of buildings and make them more energy efficient. I would like to see the broader community of, of Houston embrace that more aggressively. We've done a lot of things to bring the business community on board, but there's still a lot of room uh, to grow in that. The city of Houston and uh, Los Angeles are the two U.S. cities that are built around the car. The car. We are the sprawl capitals. And even though we are a car-based city and, and we're a horizontal city, uh, we've just put $4 billion into uh, a four-line light rail system and a complete uh, reimagining of our bus routing system. Every bus route in the city has just been transformed because we believe we can up ridership by 20% in our mass transit system and uh, create both incentives for, for riders, but make it more convenient for riders to get out of their cars. Uh, 
If you look at the city of Houston and our uh, air quality, and we have had one of the worst uh, air qualities in the United States, competing for a lot of years with LA, for which was the, the worst city, about one third was from mobile sources, about uh, many vehicles, about one third was industrial. We have more than 20% of the refining capacity of the United States, and about a third was from off-road mobile. We, a lot of construction equipment. If we can do things to take that one-third number of vehicles and bring it down, it can have a significant impact.